Hello world, this is Jeff Malone, the X is silent, here to give an analysis on the appearances that people have made in my dreams in the past year, in 2011. Here it is. Um, there you go. Um, making a spot, taking the spot, the number one spot, taking the number one spot is uh, my mother with uh, 77 appearances. Um, there were 473 total dreams that I recorded for 2011. Um, so that's from the night of January 1st, 2011 into the morning of January 2nd, 2011 through the night of December 31st, 2011 into the morning of January 1st, 2012. Um, so my mother is uh, at the top with uh, 77 appearances, 77 out of the 473. It's a little hard to see with that backlighting, but there we go, now it's in focus. Okay, um, so um, my mom takes the top spot back from my dad who held it last year, or the year before, in 2010. He had 80 appearances. That is a, the all-time high number since I've been recording my dreams and indexing the number of appearances people have made in my dreams. Um, but uh, my mom has usually been the winner. She This was her third number one appearances in the past four years. And in from 2006 through 2011, um, only my dad and my brother, Rob Malone, are the only other ones to make that number one spot. Uh, I also indexed my dreams in 2004 and 2005, but I only had seven dreams total those two years, so um, that would kind of throw off the analysis a bit to include those years as well. But yeah, so my mom is uh, usually the winner, so she, that was an all-time high mark personal mark for her with 77 dreams. Her person, her previous best was last year with 69 appearances, uh, but my dad with that total of 80 last year uh, holds the record uh, among all folks who have appeared in my dreams. Um, so my dad did stick around for uh, second place with 65 appearances this year, and then my brother Rob was third with 62. Uh, in fourth place was uh, my good friend Jeff Smith. He's the the first non-family member to make it on the list. He had 40 appearances, and then um, yeah, that was actually the first year. Actually, you know, it was the um, He's done that a few times. He's uh, been ahead, because well, right below him is, uh, in fifth place, my sister, Katie Malone. Um, usually, at the top, it's um, my four immediate family members, my dad, my mom, my brother, and my sister. Um, Jeff Smith is the only one who has ever broken up that, broken up that top four. He did it a couple times before in uh, 2007. He was uh, fourth, and my mom was fifth. And then in 2008, he was tied for third, and my sister was tied for fifth. And then, um, yeah, that looks like the only other times that he's done that. Uh, but yeah, he's, uh, I think he's been number one every year since I've been doing this among... Uh, non-family members, and he had a, a commanding lead this year among other non-family members. Then let's see, uh, rounding out, or finishing up the first page, we had uh, my friend Walt Wojciech at with 31 appearances, Dave Coyle with 23, uh, my boss, uh, Rob Schwartz, my boss at the movie theater, he's number one among co-workers uh, of mine, he had 19 appearances. And then uh, with 17 appearances, was a tie between Brenton Andreasik and Jason Tkach. So they tied um, for most appearances among friends I made from my college days at Loyola. And then uh, we had Tim McLaughlin with uh, 16 appearances, another co-worker. And my Aunt Peg had 15 appearances. And then a couple more co-workers with 13 appearances each, Craig Jones, Megan Smansky. And then with 12 appearances, we got a tie where we have to go through the, to the next page. It was a tie... Uh, with uh, my Aunt Pat, uh, co-worker P. Kelly, and uh, 
my grandmother, Nanny Claire. Um, the highest total for uh, among animals and also among the deceased was um, my recently deceased dog, Nellie. She had nine appearances, which I think was a career high for, for her. Let me just check on that one quick. Yep, that was uh, the most uh, most appearances Nellie ever had in one year. Though I should be should point out she was alive for most of 2011, so um, only a few of those appearances were um, post mortem. Uh, and then among celebrities, the number one uh, highest total among celebrities. And I was not surprised about this. I actually thought she was going to be the favorite going into the year because of the number of uh, movies that she was going to be starring in, which I was, and I was planning to see all of them. It was uh, Emma Stone who was number one with five appearances among celebrities, and then we had um, an interesting tie, um, three-way tie for second place among celebrities with two appearances each. We had um, Blake Lively. And two of those appearances were, she was as uh, Serena Vander Woodson from uh, Gossip Girl. And uh, Leighton Meester, her co-star, who two of those appearances were as Blair Waldorf from Gossip Girl. And one of those appearances was as her character, uh, Rebecca, from the movie The Roommate. And then rounding out that uh, tie for second place among celebrities was Phoebe Tonkin. Um three times as her character Cleo from the show H2O, and once as her character Faye from the show The Secret Circle. And now that's an, a particularly impressive show, and considering I was not aware of Phoebe Tonkin's existence before August of 2011, so she you know, did those four appearances in the span of just five months or so. Whereas um, the other celebrities who she's tied with and were ahead of her had the entire year to make their um, presence felt on my subconscious. And then, uh, let's see, rounding out the top five for among celebrities, we had uh, Kenan Thompson making three appearances. Um, and you could also um, have Tom Servo for the, uh, the short red robot from... Uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000. He also had three appearances, but uh, you know, fictional character. He's can be counted. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I count them with uh, celebrities, but the thing is, you know, fictional characters. They're often I often count them as the actors who portray them. Although not necessarily in the case of some uh, like a, a Tom Servo, like a puppet, or an animated uh, cartoon character. So. Uh, we'll just say that Keenan rounded out the top five. Now, as for how those uh, top celebrities compared to last year, last year's number one celebrity, Kesha, who had six appearances in 2010, actually did not have any in 2011. Um, you know, I was still listening to her music. I uh, caught uh, some of her music videos, but I guess she just she wasn't... Uh, didn't have as big a musical output, didn't have as big a presence in 2011 as she did in 2010, and my subconscious responded accordingly. And then um, last year, number two for um, celebrity appearances was went to, uh, was a tie with uh, Steve Carell, Miley Cyrus, and Jim Parsons. They had uh, four appearances each, and let me just check to make sure. Yeah, okay, uh, yeah, and the three of them each had one appearance this uh, for 2011, and let's see, uh, let's just flip through and see if there's anything else memorable in here. It's always fun when you get to the appearance, the folks who had only one or two appearances. I mean, actually, and you know, you look at it like, if I only did include people who had two or more appearances, it would only be four pages long. And then you had all the ones who had uh, one appearance or more, or less. Well, one and only, not one or less. Uh, just one appearance only. You had, yeah, let's see here. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven. Yeah, whole seven more pages. Um, so let's. Uh, these are always fun to look through. Um, but uh, you know, if you, if you know me personally, make sure you um, ask to look through this uh, the next time you see me. Or if you know uh, you don't know me personally, you uh, may be convinced of how interesting I am a person I am and may want to get in contact with me and ask to look over this in person because it would be a lot more fun that way but that might be a little bit creepy so I don't know if uh, I really want to encourage that so um anyway uh, let's see uh, Penn Pen Badgley as Dan Humphrey from uh, Gossip Girl a lot of uh, several Gossip Girl centric dreams in 2011 uh let's see here Ooh, Tom Brady and Wayne Brady no relation um, Bowser, the uh, classic video game villain. Ooh, Kevin Corrigan, one of my favorite um, character actors, had one appearance. Let's see, Roger Craig, not Roger Craig, the football player, but uh, the Jeopardy champ, one of the who I think was the best um, Jeopardy contestant since Ken Jennings had one appearance. And let's see what else do we have here. Um, oh, Michael Fassbender, breakout year for him as an actor in 2011. He appeared as Magneto in one of my dreams last year. Uh, lots of dogs. Lots of, as I come across Frosty the Cocker Spaniel, my Aunt Pat's dog. Um, I think this seemed to be the year of the dog in um, my dreams. Uh, I think more so, I think there were more appearances for by dogs in 2011 than there were in any other year. Let's see. Oh, there's, let's see, Mila Kunis as her friends with benefits character, sort of. Um, there's this one dream I had before I saw the movie Friends with Benefits that Mila Kunis and Justin Timberlake appeared in that dream. And, um, they were kind of their characters, but I didn't really know their characters yet, so they weren't exactly their characters. You know, it's... it's I do my best to interpret my dreams, and sometimes that's what I end up with. Oh, this was an interesting one. Uh, I had one dream that featured characters from the movie The Roommates, who got Ali Machalka. Her... Char get this, folks. Her... The name of her character was Tracy Morgan. <laughs> not not the black comedian, but uh, yeah, that was uh, it was fun to find that one out. Uh, let's see, Kevin Nealon, what's he up to? Apparently, he's uh, in my subconscious. Uh, okay, let's see, we got there. Yep, uh, football and see. Sign for short man and. Then, um, the last three, was, um, I list them all, uh, first in terms of number of appearances, most to least, and then for all who have the same number of appearances, I list them alphabetically, so we come to the end of the list, and we've got, um, you know, so folks at the end of the alphabet who only had one appearance, uh, so the last three are Exhibit, loved him in Bad Lieutenant, Port of Call, New Orleans, uh, Neil Young, and Ziggy the Cat. So, um, if you have uh, any questions about uh, just exactly how these uh, dream appearances turned out, you can uh, ask them in the comments, and I'd be happy to answer them. And, uh, yeah, I'll, in the meantime, I'll keep dreaming.